So what is functional kinesiology? So once you've learned to muscle test, that's foundation kinesiology. And once you've learned to muscle test, you can then go off on a variety of different paths as different kinesiologies. Functional kinesiology, kinesiology that I had a, a download about, uh, having trained in a different type of kinesiology, where the, the basics are all the same in all the kinesiologies. The foundation is always the same. You get the muscles, you learn how to food sensitivity test, you, you do the basics. But then, like I said, we can go off. And I learned, um, so did Tracy, we learned a kinesiology, which was a little bit like I guess being a GP, we were given thousands of techniques, but there was no sense of order to them. And so a lot of people ended up very overwhelmed. We could deal with general issues. But my experience of being in clinic was that people aren't coming in with general issues anymore. That was relevant in 1986 when that kinesiology was developed, but it's not relevant now because more often than not, people are coming in with horrendous digestive issues, they're being turned away from the doctor, autoimmune diseases that they're struggling to manage even with terrible, you know, huge amounts of medication. They're dealing with, um, they're on so many medications, anxiety that is going through the roof. They've got poor diets. Our bodies now are not the bodies that they were 20 years ago. We've got hormone issues, you know, like every other person now has got PCOS or endometriosis young girls dealing with horrendous hormone fallout. Menopause has reached this place, it's what we were doing this morning, but it's reached this place of being unmanageable and, and life affecting. So we're not dealing with general issues. People are coming into clinics really at, like this is my last resort. And I felt that kinesiology has such, has the tool to be so powerful to support the chronic health conditions that we're seeing in the world today. So functional kinesiology uses such a powerful combination, the tried and tested kinesiology techniques with the cutting edge research in functional nutrition and functional medicine, and it puts them together. And so we create, created a very specific pathway to work with diet, lifestyle, to get people back to full health. So we work with, after foundation level in practitioner, we work with what we call the six pillars, blood sugars, stress hormones, the sex hormones to deal with all those hormonal issues, digestion, immune and emotions, because the emotions come into all of it. So we train our practitioners on these six pillars in a very targeted way so that whatever comes into their clinic, they are able to absolutely help. So even if that person has come in, you know, terminal cancer, not long to live, there's nothing that you can really do physically apart from, you know, supporting the body through this process, but emotionally, I've got the tools, mm. I'm here, mm. I can help. And if someone's coming in with, you know, big autoimmune issues, okay, let's talk about management alongside the medication you're on, let's talk about management. Mm. Or I'm going through an awful menopause. Okay, great, I've got loads for you. Mm. And it doesn't matter what comes in, we've got the tools. And we also teach very much what our, what our remit is and at which point we refer on. Mm. Because I think there, in my experience in complementary health is, there's almost a, it's like it's a very much a them and us and there's a fear of actually going, well, I've reached the limit of what I can offer you. But actually, I think it's a really positive thing to say, we work, for example, with um, small intestine bacterial overgrowth, and we've got connections with gastroenterologists where, who, who acknowledge uh, SIBO for a start, and also know that we, there are some foundations that need to be in place. And for some people, you're not gonna shift it without the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And so as practitioners, we could sit there and say, well, we just don't believe in antibiotics. I think it's a really naive thing when you're dealing with something like SIBO. You have to get some, but you do all the foundations first, that's gonna clear 90% of SIBO. And for some people, they need those targeted antibiotics. We can't help with that. 
we've made the connections with the gastroenterologist who will take referrals from a functional kinesiologist. So we're able to support clients all the way through this process and actually say, now you're ready for the antibiotics. And that's great because we can carry on working after, you know, through that process and make sure that they do their job. So it's a very um, connected, it's a proper integrative mm -hmm. approach to healthcare. Mm -hmm. uh, and we learn a lot about a lot of things, but what the feedback that we got from our students who first went through it, these three wonderful teachers were some of them, mm -hmm. was that I felt like I was learning loads, but actually the work I did, it wasn't about filling an hour's session with kinesiology for the sake of it. it. My work became so targeted. So it was almost like the more I learned, the less I had to do. Mm. Because I wasn't, I knew, I knew the pathway. So as practitioners, we wanted to make sure that people felt feel incredibly supported and held and there's a protocol that you can still be creative with but that it's all leading somewhere you can see the pathway it's not just a case of well I'll try this today mm. so that's functional kinesiology we're not going to really be talking about the hormones today because that's more the practitioner level we're going to be talking about the basics of what you learn in a foundation kinesiology course so uh, I think I've covered why now, the world really needs it. But foundation kinesiology is, like I said, it's not the hormones and all of that, those stuff. It's this very exciting learning of the language. So I'm going to learn about the 50 muscles. I'm going to learn about, we go into Chinese five element theory. We're going to work with meridians. We're going to work with all sorts of lovely techniques and tools. And what's so great about kinesiology is, it fits in with any modality. If you're a PT and you can't get someone, you know, someone's just really struggling to do calf raises, you're like, you'll be able to go, oh yeah, that's your adrenals, great. Actually, let's book, you know, in 10 minutes of your session, let's do some testing, let's find the right nutrition, bam away. Or in the case of foundation, please or you don't want nutrition, but okay, we'll just we'll switch that muscle on before I train you. Let's get that muscle switched on. So it's just, like their training goes through the roof when you can actually understand why a muscle's not working. If you're a nutritionist, being able to actually muscle test and not have to use guesswork. Mm. Pilates instructors, same, you know, yoga, Pilates, PT, all of those physical activities, again, getting people's muscles switched on before they do the activity. Mm. Massage therapists, actually the kinesiology, when you're doing the massage, it's really painful in one place. You're going, oh, okay, why? There's a muscle that's not switching on. Great, I can switch that on. I know how to do this. Any of the energy therapies, any of them, uh, you're actually able to not just work on the energy, but work on all these other aspects of the body. So it fits with any other modality. This is why I said it always, I always came back to this place of kinesiology just became an umbrella to hold all of the other therapies in it. So that's why I love it so much because it doesn't have to be, oh, well, I do a bit of Reiki and I do kinesiology. It's like, it can all just go into one big melting pot. Mm. And then this client is getting this powerful, integrated session of all that you bring from all of your knowledge.